My name is Rashane Robbins. I'm the natural science teacher here at Roper Mountain Science Center. We're gonna talk about continental landforms. We have this awesome augmented reality topographic sandbox. And just to explain a few things first, look at the colors. You might notice some lines. What do you think these colors might represent? So right now I see some green and some orange and yellow in between. So we're gonna make a landform and I want you to think about what landform is being created. Now right now, the highest elevation is in white and the lowest elevation is blue and that's actually sea level, zero feet above the seawater. That would be like being out at the beach. So what landform do you think I just created? Right here in the middle. If you were thinking mountain, you would be correct. So let's see here. Now, there is another thing this could be, but there would have to be evidence of something that either happened in the past or that is stirring in the ground. So what if I told you lava was starting to come out of this top? Would you change your classification of this landform? I bet you would. I bet you would call it a volcano. Now there's another thing we could change and alter this landform. If I take away this and all of a sudden I make it flat on top, we would then classify that as a mountain, and we know it, plateau. All right, so we're gonna keep adding to our landforms here and talk about some of the land. So as, oh, you notice something? We just made water. Precipitation is coming down on our landforms. And as that water creates weathering and erosion and trees, we're gonna get a rounded mountain. Sometimes mountains are really rocky, but if you have lots of trees, it's probably more rounded. Now, when these contour lines are closer together, that indicates steeper. So let's make this side less steep. Look what happens to the contour lines. They spread out more and you can see the change in color variation more. So what if the rain keeps coming down, keeps coming down, keeps coming down? What is gonna form as the water keeps wearing away at this region? You're probably gonna get your spring water streams and then that's gonna develop and develop and you're gonna get lots and lots of water creating a new pathway. And maybe it's gonna turn this way. So then you're going from your water's moving, especially here in the upstate, from your mountains to your stream. So we're gonna watch as that water keeps traveling and it's gonna go down and it's gonna carve into the land. Now this is gonna be a new landform and it sometimes has a V shape to it. If this was all land, what land shape has that V shape, especially in between mountains? So in between, I now have a new landform. Can you think what it is? I bet you you're thinking valley. At the edge of valleys, they tend to flatten out. And we have a new landform to talk about. That's gonna be your plains. Now, if we were to fill this up with lots and lots and lots of water, we're gonna see how those reservoirs will fill up and we're going to let that water go all the way around. And it's going to fill up. Now we have three mountain peaks. I'm going to take away my plane. And there's one more that we can create, especially when we see lots of water. What do you think is going to happen when I add some land just right there that grew up from the bottom of the ocean, especially if this is ocean area? That's your island. So now we've covered most of the basics of all of our continental landforms. And we've kind of also looked at how water can shape the land. Can you think of any other landforms that water helps create?